What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. In today's video, we're discussing some important things about delay OTA, which allows you to update to an iOS version that is no longer signed. And the window for doing that is closing quite fast for a great iOS version, and we're going to get into it in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock. It allows you to unlock your device if you forgot your iCloud password or if you got scammed buying a secondhand device. So delay OTA is essentially a technique that allows you to go ahead and update your device to an iOS version that is no longer signed. Now you have about three months from when the version becomes unsigned to when it becomes completely unavailable for you, even through delay OTA. Now, this is mostly for the enterprise market and we weaponized it, but there is a table available here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com and I'm going to link it down below where you can check the expiration date for those profiles because they don't last forever. So as you can see over here, many of these are completely expired, so you can no longer update to them if it says expired. Uh, the iOS 18.0 has expired. However, the iOS 18.0.1 one has not yet expired. It's going to expire on January 26th and this is going to essentially come soon and this is your last chance to get the iOS 18.0.1 from a previous version. This is important especially if you're coming from a version that has poor app support like iOS 13 or 14 or whatever. The app support tends to be quite bad on those versions. If you want to update to a newer iOS version but that still supports a little bit of customization tools and whatever, iOS 18.0.1 is a great version. So is iOS 18.1 really, but iOS 18.1 does patch a couple of bugs and there are a couple of things that have been patched over here that could potentially be useful. Some of them can lead to arbitrary code execution that can potentially be useful for jailbreak purposes. So if you can, I would highly recommend to go to iOS 18.0.1. You should avoid iOS 18.2 and iOS 18.2.1. These are very bad versions for the moment because they completely patch even the slightest customization tools that we have, like Nugget over here which can enable a plethora of tweaks on your device without jailbreak and of course Misaka X and many other things. That's why I was 18.1.1, 18.1 and 18.0.1 are the best versions to be on at the moment if you are going to update from an older version. Now, if you care that much for app support, you are probably going to update and lose the jailbreak. There is no full jailbreak at the moment for this version, so you are updating to essentially a no jailbreak territory at the moment. However, if you go from iOS 14, 13, whatever, to say iOS 18.0.1 through the delay OTA method over here, I do have a guide on how to use it, then you're going to be able to at least use tools like Nugget and Misaka X in the meantime while you wait for a jailbreak. Use this method, go to 18.0.1 while you still can. The window is closing fast. So thank you for watching, I am Gia Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.